Hello all you beautiful lovelies and welcome to Mama G Gear. It's Mama G here sitting outside again. This is video number tray. In del trois or trois in, in en français. Yeah, I don't really know how to speak French. I learned a little bit of it in third grade. That's like and then when I was actually when I was a teenager, uh, right into a story. I am the worst at babbling, but uh, when I was a teenager, um, I had a cleaning business. I literally started a cleaning business at the age of 14, just saying. And I had a few ladies that I used to go after school and clean their houses or on Saturdays. And one of the ladies, and I'm going to say her name, Virginia Dunlinger. She was such an amazing woman. But uh, anyway, she wanted to give me her house, to be honest with you. She had a beautiful house in Western, New in Western, Western Connecticut. And if any of you know about that, those houses, cha-chang. I was about 16 at this point, and I was just too young to be a homeowner. And she had that house where she used to rent it out to people. So anyway, she would have me go in once a week and clean the house. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because even though I only learned French for like two years, third, fourth grade, thereabouts, um, maybe fifth, maybe it was three years, who cares, but, uh, she used to only, she used to often, not only, but often speak to me in French, and I wasn't necessarily able to speak back to her, but I did understand a lot of it, so it's interesting that, like, how they speak English, and I was able to do that. Okay, so enough of that, blah, 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 blah. um, I wanted to show you, I did the other videos and they were getting a little bit long, but do check out the other ones because there's a surprise in one of them, just saying. And what I wanted to do was to show you, hopefully I dropped it already, if I haven't, just keep an eye out for this get up in a video. Um, there's two of them prior, other than this, so this, there's three. Okay, what I wanted to show you today, and I figured I make this on its own because this is gonna be long enough. But I hope you don't mind staying and, and enjoying me show you the dyed yarn that I've been doing. I have been having a blast with this and I have them individually bagged. I'm putting them like kind of two hanks each, though some of them could be one hank because it's enough um, like 400 and something yardages for like a pair of socks. But then I figured if you wanted to make a shawl or something, you'd need maybe a little more yardage than that, especially if it's a thinner yarn. So I'm going to, we're going to go through the yarns and then I got to try to put them all back in the yarn bags, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Anyway, so this is uh, Nomad Latte Yarn and that wasn't good because it fell right off. Oh, I've been trying to tape, retape these on them, but this is the beautiful colorways in this and I'll tell you the specs. It's latte and it's a hundred percent um baby alpaca there's 291 yards in each hank it's a three pot pl three three pie yeah no three ply sport weight okay and i hand dyed it and it is blues and purples and i'm hoping that you're seeing the colors there's also a beautiful shimmer to it and all i can tell you is yeah super pretty now some of these will be going up for auction on our auction. I am donating some to Melissa Crochets with Love. I'm going to do another shout out for her because we're doing our, our auction on the 20th, but she's having an auction on the 30th. So definitely check her out. I'll, I'll drop her channel on the bottom. You probably already are subscribed, but just in case you aren't do try to make the auction just like I ask for our auction just being there and doing a thumbs up is gratefully appreciated so anyway so that's the blues and purples and I'm gonna put them on the chair and I also have a container down there for them all right next is pinks and browns and I'm getting a lot of people really liking the pinks and browns so this is also nomad and I'll show you the Hanks while I read the stats. This is, I think, the last one I did. It's pink, ecru, chestnut, and regular brown. So there's different shades of brown, two different shades of brown, but then it variates. So it's variates, is that a word? I don't know. But it, it, it changes colors. So it, it looks like more than just two. And then there's that beautiful pink. And this is 80% extra fine 
Extra fine merino wool, 20% nylon is 437 yards per hank, four ply fingering sock weight. Okay, so that's another one. So there again, you could make a, a set of really nice socks out of one hank, but I, I'm putting two in because, like I said, repeating myself again. And I hope I can get these back in the bags quick enough because I was really struggling trying to get these in the bags yesterday. I just wanted to get them organized so that, because I'm, you know, I'm so unorganized. And I am sweating. I have nothing cool to drink out here. So, all right. So that that's that. And, pl and I appreciate. I'm going to put them on the ground here. I appreciate your patience in my doing this. I'll try to tell jokes or something or throw memes up. All right. Next one is. Uh, this is the one I just did. Also, this is the periwinkle, and salmon. And look at and the fade in and out on that again it's a nomad i uh, bear yarn that i used if i can kind of get them together this is so super soft and the reason it is again this is the latte 100 percent baby alpaca 291 yards per hank three ply sport weight and absolutely love the uh salmon and, and periwinkle color together gorgeous and I can say gorgeous without being conceited about it because it has nothing to do with me <laughs> it just happens to be the yarn how it soaked it in and you know whatever these are all experiments so these are not these are not the result of talent these are just the result of uh, you know throwing stuff in a pot and that's what came out all right next one this is another one that I really like. This is the Snow Drift. Uh, snow Drift. Oh, it's a nice breeze out here. Anyway, I hope you can see the brilliant bright blue. I hope that's coming, showing through. There's a brilliant blue and also a darker blue. And then a nice rich purple in there, okay? These are gorgeous. This is the, the soft, I'm sorry, let me try that again. Snow Drift, 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 330, let's take that back, 437 yards, 400 meters, four ply, fingering sock weight. These are absolutely stunning. Look at that. Again, there's a couple pairs of socks. If thou shall choose to or a shawl or whatever i don't know what else you can make you guys you guys know how to do that stuff so that's that my glasses are slipping aren't they oscar if you heard noises he, he's a little upset because i kind of have he sits on a chair out here he actually stayed out all night last night i was very upset about that because i stayed up into the wee hours with the back light on and he was here on the porch but he won't let me come near him if, if he's outside and I try to like go near him. He, he thinks I'm going to grab him to bring him in the house. So he runs away, but he'll go right to the door. Like he wants to come in. I get up, I open the door. He just stands there looking at me. I stand there like an idiot, try to course him in. He changed. He's like, nah, I just wanted to make you get out of your seat. So we played that game until like two o'clock in the morning. And I was like, you know what? I'm leaving the light on and you could just sleep outside because it's gorgeous out. But then the man, texted me like at four o'clock this morning 4 30 this morning saying that when he got up and got ready to go to work there was he heard coyotes out in the back so gotta be careful with that all right this this is the the stanky yarn doesn't smell really bad this one these don't really smell that bad the dirty hippie actually smells like a dirty hippie but anyway all right this is the steam i was calling it stream it's not there is no r it's steam it's pink and chestnut it's 80% fine superwash merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, 100 grams, 191 yards, 175 meters, two ply worsted Aran weight, pinks and browns. And again, I hope I'm like holding this in camera because I'm reading. Beautiful. And I, I hope you could see the fibers on that. I hope that's focusing in. Gorgeous. And again, I don't know how many yards you need to make a pair of socks, but this is air and weight. So this would make a nice hat or something or whatever, you know, 
And you could always mix it with other yarns if they match. Just saying. And uh, Yarn Barf, Yarn Barf, she had uh, made a comment asking me, asking me how these work up. And I was honest with her, and I'm going to be honest with you guys as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing this stuff around. I dye this stuff. I've never, I've never crocheted with it. I've never crocheted with any yarn that I dyed. Because, to be honest without, I'm not, you know, uh, knocking myself. I don't feel that I'm talented enough to use something this scrumptious. And um, I'd rather it go to somebody who actually can crochet something and really truly appreciates the fine yarns. All right, this, um, again, I hope all of these colors come out nicely, but look, all the different browns, there's a gold, there's different shades of green. It goes from chartreuse green to a more regular green to a deep forest, not really, well, maybe forest green, but you know, a, a woodsy green and browns. Super gorgeous. Again, the Nomad yarn. This is the steam. Same stats. 80% super fine merino washed wool. Uh, super washed <laughs> merino wool. 20% baby alpaca. 191 yards, 175 meters. Worsted Aaron weight. Absolutely. This is one, to be honest, this is one that if I were going to keep any of these, this is one I would have kept. But... I don't need them. I get, a, I get so much done, you know, other yarns to use. I'm really trying to get through my, um, my, what do you call, uh, my stash, you know, work through my stash. And I, I, I really haven't been buying a lot of yarn, though it seems like I have, but I really haven't. I've been buying like the Mary Maxim mystery bags because I love those. And then I bought a couple uh, orders of the bare yarn. And I did have a couple boxes of bare yarn. So basically I'm buying the yarns to get, buying the yarns to get rid of the yarns. That doesn't make any sense. But oh my goodness, yeah. Vermilion, bright orange, and brilliant yellow, okay? This is, again, the Snowdrift. I'm reading upside down. 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, 437 yards or 400 meters, four ply fingering sock weight. Tell me that's not on fire. Can't sing it. Well, I sing like crap anyway, but we don't want to get whoever sings that upset. They're probably gone by now. Because I'm old and I remember that being a like a disco song. All right, so let's shove that in here if we can. So that's the, these are the more recent yarns that I have dyed that I've been kind of showing. I know I cheated on you on a couple of them because I, I went downstairs, I was bored, there was nothing good on TV. I didn't want to, you know, sit in bed. The man was sleeping and I just like, eh, and I did it. And I just grabbed and started dying. All right. Okay, so now these, I'm not going to take these out of the bag, only because, all right, the orange, the two hanks, these are ones that I, did. the first two are ones that I dyed like last year, but I, they've been in a bag, and this, I'm not remembering exactly what yarns I used for these two. It may be the Apisperitas yarn but it is it to me it's looking like it's not quite i don't know what way it is i don't know anyway so i do have two of the purple and i have two of the orange the orange i kind of wanted to send to somebody specific and then these two were the unidentified yarns that i had gotten from kramer I don't, I think it's Kramer boxes. They have the big mystery boxes where you get a lot of the same stuff but they give you bare yarn. So I think that's where that's from. But there is a white uh, thread rolling through it. So there's a really cool texture in that yarn. But that's like a four weight. It's definitely at least a four weight. Probably 
might be considered almost a five weight. So these yarns were, I don't know, I can't remember what the other, other uh, yarn material is. Okay, now these, these are going to definitely go in the auction. Some of these I'm not sure if they're going in the auction or if they're, I got to send some to Melissa, but I'm not sure if I'm putting all of these in the auction. All right, because I can make more and I also would like to gift some out. These four, however, will be going in the auction. Come on, tell me this is not, I mean, I mean, I, I, if I opened these and just showed you all the colors, there's shades of blue, greens, reds, orange, browns, grays, uh, black. It is, these are flippin' gorgeous, okay? If I may say so myself, probably my favorite out of everything that I've dyed thus far. I think these are the best. And these are simply wool. It's an Aran weight. If I can, I will try to let you gander as I go and speak. Sorry that it's just not wanting to cooperate, but uh, let's see, where's the stats on here? Oh, come on. It's a hundred percent echo wool, hand washed, dry flat. Oh, did I not? Oh, you know what? No, I didn't. I didn't write it down on here. Hundred, hundred. It's called Wanda. That's the name of this. I noticed that this company, a lot of their yarns are called women's names. Um, 193 yards per each hank and this is definitely a four weight a, a good healthy four weight and I'm putting all four of these up together as a group because at least you could do something a little bit more substantial I mean you could do a nice hat and scarf with that okay and the colors I don't know how they work up. Did I start talking about, I did start saying something about yarn bark and then I know, I don't think I finished it, but if I did and I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but yarn bark's like, oh, did you ever, um, you know, work up your yarn? And I said, no, I haven't, you know, so I don't know how these work up in a thing. So I, she's going to be my test human. How's that? I'm going to send her some of my yarn and then have her crochet with it and see what she comes up with and see how it looks, right? Okay. These were very, 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 very popular when I did this. It's blacks, and I say blacks because it's different shades. Purples, different shades of purple, different shades of green. There's a little gray. It is, these are, and, and they're sparkly. So, this is 49% U.S. alpaca, 49% superwashed merino, 2% polyester which I guess would be the, the shinies and there are a hundred and eighty yards per hank three of them are going together in the auction so these will definitely be in the auction so those two sets are definitely going to be auctioned okay and some of the others will but that's those are definites and Let's do it. Now, let's do this one first. All right, so this was a little bit ago. Again, this is I. Th this is unidentified flying yarns from that, that again, I don't remember what company, but um, these three, I don't know. All right, so three of these are more, are really spot on the same. One is a little bit different, and it, now that I'm looking at them, I couldn't tell you which one is a little different. I, I don't know. To me, at that time when I had them all out, I'm like, oh, this is this is not the same. But there's four of these. I do not know how much yardage it's in here. It is definitely a good four weight, probably very similar to what I just showed you. What did I say the yardage is on that? 100 something yards each, 191 I think it was. So these are probably the same because it's very, very similar. It's got a nice twist in it, but look at all those browns. And then, so there's four of those, but I also did this one and this one, I dropped it in the browns where it should have been ecru. 
And since I did that boo-boo, I was like, eh, let's dip it in green. So I also added green to this. But I am putting it in with the other four because this would be a very nice beginner part of the hang, you know, the project or the end of the project. You can use this as an accent pop kind of color. So this is going with that. So this also is going up for auction. There you got five hanks. One being with the greens, the other ones, and like I said, one of them appeared a little bit darker than the others, but I think once you open them up, you'll see, and then just blend it in. All right, and they're hand dyed, you know what I'm saying? All right, so those will definitely be in for the auction. And then we've got last. Yep. Oh, no, I do have another bag. All right, let me go to this other bag real quick. I know, we're, we're really pushing this here. All right, next is orange sparkly yarn. I'm not going to pull this out of the bag, but there's different variations. I believe this is all of the salmon. And it, and it sparkled up. Oh, no, I did different colors, and it all blended into one. That's what happened. So uh, there's a video of me dyeing this. But this has got different shades of orange and salmon-y color. This is called the Kathy. It's from that Simply whatever, that white, I don't know, simple, Simply Wool or whatever. Um, it's a worsted weight, 180 yards per skein. It's 49% superwash merino, 49% alpaca, 2% um, polyester, which is the glitter, which is the same as the three purple, blacks, and greens. Got that one. Then, thank you guys for hanging in there with me because I, I appreciate this. All right, I'm not going to do these. I just want to get this going. All right, so here are two blues and purples. This is the Asperitas, 50% recycled wool, 50% tensile, 383 yards, and it's a sock weight. But isn't that gorgeous, what you're seeing? That brilliant blue is gorgeous. It really is. It just, and this particular yarn has a fluff because it's fluffing out here. That yarn really um, worked up, it sucked up the, the dye real nice. All right, just a couple more, folks, a couple more. All right, this is the only one I did of this. This is the Bristol, 70% fine. Uh, let me do it this way. This was a really super cool yarn. It's 70% fine organic merino, 30% hemp. Oh, that noise, there, there is somebody shooting, but the other noise was Oscar jumping on the little roof. It's 30% hemp. So we got uh, fine organic merino, 30% hemp, 328 yards. It's a sport weight, but look at the colors in that. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I hope you can see. It's very Tweety. And not Tweety Bird. It's Tweety Weedy. And then, just hold on, we're almost done. This is like a sea foam green with all different variations, but very slight uh, changes in the variations. I'm hoping again you can see that. I gotta stop repeating myself. This is that Asperidius which is 50, recyc uh, 50 recycled wool, 50 tensile, 30, 383 yard sock weight. Again, gorgeous. And then one more out of here and then we're going to show you the dirty hippie. And I've got to air out the dirty hippie because for some reason, we'll see if it's aired out at all because it's it's been sitting. All right, I didn't have a bag for these, but super blazing soft. This is so cool. This is just all variations of purples. And look at how just like melt in your hand. But look at the different variations of the purples in here. And then there's even like a, a light little pop there. And this is the Latte 100% Baby Alpaca 291 yards, three ply sport weight. Gorgeous. All right, so that's those. And let's get down to the Dirty Hippie. Because the Dirty Hippie was fun. That one that one gave me a, a minute, you know? It really did. It, um, if you've seen the video, if not, you can watch it. But when I first did the first three of them, 
I was like, oh no, I, I dropped the orange in and the orange just came out like spaghetti sauce stain on a tablecloth. And then I dipped the blue and I dipped the green and come on, look how gorgeous. These are beautiful. They still smell like a herd of sheep but not as bad as he did. Oh my gosh, when I dropped these in the hot water, I was gagging, literally gagging. It was strong. And I, I'm, I'm not a freak about smells. I can handle certain smells. But these were the first three that I dyed and I, I didn't know how they were gonna come out and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I had three more. This is the unidentified yarns that I got from that company. This is definitely a four weight wool. Um, but I, I, I hope you could see all the different variations of the colors it it really they, they really are they, they did come out like I said I'm not taking credit for it but this is just how it happens and then I had the three other Hanks and I wasn't gonna dump them in I was like you know what let me try so I did dump the other three in with the same colors but I if you could see with these the yellow or the orange golden it was golden yellow um, I didn't add it to it like I did the first one. So this is a lighter shade. You don't have the darker orange. And then the blues and greens, uh, tend, they seem to have, uh, oh, there's the big hawk again, looking, shopping in my yard for the animals. Yeah, and he's coming right back. I got to keep an eye. Oh no, that's just a turkey vulture. All right. I don't worry about him and he's looking for dead people. Um, anyway, these, the blues and greens, came out more uh poignant is that a, i don't know if that word, word applies but there's still like mad variations of colors in there so not sure i don't know how many i'm preoccupied um because he's like literally starting to circle over here i didn't know if i'm gonna do all six because i do think that with all six especially since you've got three uh, with one colorway ish and the other three with the other colorway ish that you could probably make maybe a sweater or something or a little whatever you can make a substantial item with this if you were to alternate like like alternate your your colors like this is the, these this is one of each but see how the blue is a little bit less bright and the orange on this one is more gold and the green's a little more prominent here. So there, there is gonna be a difference, but if you were to alternate, like do this Hank, that Hank, that Hank, you can kind of do that color control thing that people do. So anyway, I'm gonna let those sit outside today because they still smell, and I don't wanna give you smelly stuff. I really don't wanna give you smelly stuff. If I ever do, I'm sorry. Unintentional, uh-oh. Sorry about my head, but one of my one of my stickers on one of the things came off. All right. I love you guys. Thanks for staying so long and, and enjoying what I'm doing. So most of that, uh, many of those are going in the auction. Like I said, I think I pointed out which ones were definitely going in the auction. Other ones, I'm not sure. Like I said, I have to send some to Melissa. And I also uh, want to gift some out to a few people. But I think the pink and browns are going to go. I have two pink and brown combos. One's a, uh, a lightweight, one's more of a four weight. I think those are going to go on the auction. The um, orange, the orange vermilion and the bright yellow, those are going to go on the auction because those are really awesome. So those are definitely, let me do that. Let me just throw ones I'm going to go on the auction in here. So those are going to the auction. Sorry for the top of my head. These two you know, purples and, I mean, pink and browns. I got a lot of people that seem to have liked those, so we're going to put those in the auction. Um, I think I will throw this sock weight of the periwinkle and the, the uh, salmon. We'll throw those in the auction. And this one here was blues and purples. And this one was blues and purples. This is baby alpaca. And this one was uh, the snow drift. I might send one of those to Melissa because I, I, I think blue is a good color for her. And then the other bag, I'll iffy iffy. This one here, the browns and greens by the steam. I might, I might keep this. 
Is it okay? I might keep that because it's it's like a four weight, right? Yeah, it's a worsted weight. Oh, plastic bag you went. Don't don't put plastic bags over your head. Just saying, that's bad. Um, anyway, I have to think about that one because I'm really digging that. So anyway, that's the yarns that I've got thus far. There's a lot. I think one of these or both, whatever, the, that's going over there. And then, of course, these were, like I said, if I could, I would keep these. But they are just too pretty to not share with somebody. And then we have the blacks, the blacks, the purples. So those are definitely going in. All right. I kept you forever. Thank you so much. If you're still here. Somebody's pulling in my driveway. Why? Okay, if you're still here, write alpaca. Put the word alpaca and I'll pick a winner. And I don't know, the guy's got a, one of those things on the top, so I think I'm getting arrested. Um, if you don't see me in a while, come bail me out. But anyway, put the word alpaca in your comment, stealth mode it, and you'll be entered to win a ticket for the May giveaway box. Thanks, let's see you soon. Bye-bye for now.